Okay. So it's popsicle. <coughs> <coughs> it's popsicle time. I'm sorry. You're going to have to hear me cough because I can't get around it. I started making, trying to make this video and I finished one half of this popsicle while doing so. So I'm not going to be able to make it through it without coughing. So if someone coughing over a microphone is really annoying, do you need to click off now because I can't help it. I'm at war, people. I'm at war with this damn whatever uber skunky funky monkey virus or whatever the hell this thing is. Um, it has invaded my chest. It has invaded everything. Um, my... <coughs> I don't even... I mean, all I, I really want is popsicles. Um, you eat something and you feel yucky after you eat something. This is just really strange. It's like a cold and a stomach virus kind of mixed together. I think the government's experimenting. That's that's my idea on it. I think they're experimenting on us. Could be in the popsicles. I don't know. Anyway. 13 days. This has lasted 13 days. And still it does not compare with going on vacation with teenagers. Teenage girls, anyway. I'd rather have this for 20 days at least than go on vacation with teenage girls again. I'm not doing it. And the next time my sister calls me two days before vacation, sounding like this, saying she's not going to the doctor, she's saving her money for a vacation, I won't be going. These people are nuts. So, um, for the past two days, I've only gotten out of the house once. I think we've only eaten once. You couldn't even count it as once. You'd have to go. You couldn't even count it as once because I think I ate a bite of eggs this morning, two bites of toast, and one bite of bacon. The bacon was rank. The eggs tasted rank. Everything was gross. The place smelled. Yeah. It was not good. So anyway. Um. The vacation was okay. Uh, the cabin was wonderful. Wi-Fi sucked. I could only get on long enough to go. Okay, let's start. Let's make a video. Okay, crap. I'm kicked off. Offline, so it didn't work. Um. For most of the trip, my um, darn uh, digital camera was lost because of a teenage girl. I really did have a lot of fun. We played pool. We hung out. Uh, somebody had somewhere to go every day. Um, this wasn't really a grown-up vacation. This was a take kids places kind of vacation. If I were to have a grown up vacation, I would go somewhere where I only went out when I wanted to. I'd get me like those timeshare department thingies. Um, it's got the kitchen, it's got a couple of bedrooms in it. I don't need but one. <clears throat> because of my kind of vacation wouldn't be carrying anybody with me. And I would go, and I would just sit and watch TV, and I would order in, and if there was something I, I wanted to do, I'd go do it. If not, I'd just enjoy no phone ringing, not having to take care of anybody, no major cooking, and peace and quiet. That's what I would enjoy. That's a grown-up vacation. 
It does not include Dollywood. The aquarium. Walking endlessly up these stupid little streets to every little nook and cranny store that has the same stinking thing in it. My favorite part of the vacation was sitting on the front porch of this cabin or riding up in the Smokies and looking around and just enjoying what God's made, you know. But you have to get a certain age, and it's certainly not a teenager that can appreciate this. Mm-mm. I've done gotten old enough that I think teenagers should be um, who they buy them phones now they buy them cars to run around with in they don't pay for these cars they don't pay for the insurance they don't pay for these phones they don't pay for that texting package they don't pay for any of this crap they've got to have Aeropostale or you know one of the American Eagle clothes. Uh, Walmart's not good enough for them. Sorry, meeting my pops like a, like a monkey would, but but they have to have all these things. There is no respect. There is no gratitude. You cannot make them happy for more than five five minutes at a time. That's when you're doing really good. My opinion is. Take that damn cell phone away from them. If they can't pay for it, take it away from them. If they can't pay for that car and the insurance on that car, take that sucker away from them. Yep. And then beat them with your flip-flop or stick, whatever. Yep. I threatened two of them with the beating. Threatened them. Teenagers will get you in trouble because they'll make you want to kill them. I love them. I love them. And I wouldn't want anybody to hurt them. But me. Rotten little turds. But, um... No. No, I was going to say, but there were some good times. No. Not with the teenagers. <laughs> there were none. They were they were just mad. One of them, they were either mad at each other or mad at you. Which I didn't, you know, you get to a point where you don't care anymore. You go, well, you're going to be mad at me in five more minutes if you're happy right now. So who gives a crap? I don't care. <coughs> anyway, I come home to the house full of fruit flies. They, they've been having a giant orgy all week and I got my spray and I've been killing them um, party on dudes you're dead now um, and digging out of uh, I think sister came home long enough to I don't know I don't know where the stuff came from I don't know how it got messy because I haven't even unpacked the truck I don't know and probably part of it is me being anal and sick and bitchy I don't know and this video is not gonna make any sense really not a whole lot of sense but I don't care I'm posting it anyway so you guys I'm at 916 I'm gonna have to get off here pretty quick I just wanted y'all to know that I'm I'm alive <coughs> I am not kicking yet but I am spraying the raid right now <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later and um, I'm Mark and Nigel hi John um, I'm glad glad you're back John and um, Beth I'm so sorry about Nohia I really am sorry about her um, but I know you'll find uh, another baby that'll steal your heart and that will be a 